All right, I was playing with my vector network analyzer and uh, was looking at some things that you might not be aware of. So I thought I would expand on what I was doing and uh, show you some examples of coax loss. And so we are going to be using a spectrum analyzer, I, I mean a vector network analyzer. I'm going to be going between 800 and 1.3 uh, gigahertz, all right? And I think we should cal, uh, so we will do, make sure I'm okay here. Yes, uh, we will do a one port calibration. It says connect and open. And uh, I will put an open on, short. And a load. Isn't this wonderful having nice equipment? So a lot of people will have to struggle with their little $50 units. But if you're doing real work, it's nice to have a, a instrument that is very, very fast, okay? So you can see we have a perfect cal with the, with the load right there at the zero point. And when we take it off, there's our open. And if we shorted it, it would be over here, okay. But let's do some fun things here. We're going to be looking at a bunch of cables, okay? And so let's take one of these cables. Let's take, uh, oh, I don't know, let's take this one. Okay, so this is a cable that came, I think it's part of, I don't know where I got this cable anyway. I'm not sure where this came from. If it was part of a unit or something or other. And let's put it on here. Now, um, the way that these instruments work is that it's going to send out a signal and it's going to look at its reflection and it will travel. So if the, if the wire was a quarter wavelength long, it would travel over to here, depending on what wavelength you have. And uh, so anyway, transmission lines will travel the outside perimeter of a circle, but you can see this one is smaller than the outside of the circle. Well, why is it smaller? I understand there's a phase shift, but why does it get smaller? Well, that's the loss of the wire. And it remits a return trip, so it's twice the loss of the wire. And so let's, let's forget these. Let's look at a different one. Uh, here is a uh, different, it doesn't say what kind, of, what kind of cable this is. Let's put it on. And you can say, oh my goodness, look at that one. It has way more loss. It's absorbing much, much, much more energy than the other one. And so um, people talk about, you know, do I need to worry about cables? Why are, why are, why are the fancy cables so expensive? Uh, here's a really, really short little one. Now it's gonna be dependent on the length of the wire, right? Longer wires have a longer round trip. But you can see that even the short little wire has a, has a little bit of, a, has a little bit of attenuation, a little bit of, the, uh, let's see here. Uh, this wire is pretty nice. This came, this came with the vector network analyzer, the, uh, uh, the Nano VNA-F, the V2. The, it's the three or four gigahertz uh, one that I use all the time. It's not a bad cable. Uh, definitely not a bad cable. Uh, I have the marker here at, um, at uh, one gigahertz. Uh, we can come over here to, and see where it's more lossy, right? It's going to be more lossy at, at 1300 megahertz. I'm going to keep it here. I'm going to keep it here at a thousand, a thousand megahertz though. All right. So this is not too bad, right? Especially out to a thousand. This is a pretty good, pretty good cable. Um, let's see here. What other cables do I have? Here is a, uh, test cable. It's SMA to BNC. Um, but it is RG58, okay? So this is standard RG58. And we can see that it is quite lossy. Uh, this circle has, has shrunk in, so that RG58. Um, my cable straight here. Uh, here is another uh, SMA to BNC. This one is a um, let's see here, who makes this cable? 
Coleman, haven't heard of them, Coleman. This is RG223. Let's take a look at that one. Obviously about half the length, but yeah, this one's measuring very nice too. That's a good quality cable. Um, all right, let's try this one. This is a high quality cable. Does it say who made, who made the cable? I can't read it. Uh, this is a SMA to N. Don't worry about what's on the other end of the cable. It's just an open. And uh, yeah, it's got some loss in it, especially at higher frequencies, it's got some loss. All right, now we're gonna get around to why are cables so expensive if you buy the good ones, okay? So I've got three cables here. These are expensive cables. This one's the least expensive, so let's put it on. This is Times Microwave Systems SF142B. I don't know, this is SMA to N. It's quite long though. It's, uh, it's a couple meters long, or well, it's about a meter and a half long. About a meter and a half. Let's put it on. And whoops. Well, it's pretty lossy. I mean, shorter ones will be better. That's a pretty nice cable. All right, so then we get to the, the big boys here. These are Gore cables, G-O-R-E, the Gore Corporation, like Gore-Tex uh, jacket you might own. Uh, these are made by Gore, so they are uh, uh, Teflon foam. Uh, Gore started out making artificial arteries for open heart surgery and stuff. Uh, we'll start with this one. hand is starting to cramp up and you can see that it's doing quite nicely uh, it's got a little bit of attenuation in it all right ouch yeah almost got a cramp in it and then we will go to this one which is a very very expensive cable so this one's several thousand dollars to buy new Let's see how it's doing. And I think you can see that it's almost perfect. So yeah, that's what you pay for. Uh, you get a really, really good piece of coax. You spend a lot of money on it. Uh, you get a very, very good lossless cable. It also doesn't change when you wiggle it and things like that. So a bunch about cables that are, are really, really good. Uh, you can also look at cables in log mag uh, return loss. So uh, this is that really ugly cable. This is the RG58. Uh, so the RG58 here has about a, a one and a half dB, uh, dB wiggle in it. And we'll put this really, really, really good cable on. And we'll see what he does. And it has a very, very small wiggle in it. Um, so there's different ways of looking at it. Um, I like the Smith chart method. Um, so I just thought I'd show that off today. And you might want to look at your cables and kind of sort them for, you know, good ones and bad ones. See which ones are more lossy than the other ones.